Welcome back to today guys, it's time for another anime first impression video. Welcome once again, it's gonna be on a series that aired without me knowing. <laughs> uh, I think it aired back in um, it, late March, so I think it aired, let's see, I'm trying to get the right date. It aired on Saturday, um, and I completely missed it, but that's okay. Uh, it is called Studio Apartment, a Good Lighting and Angel Included. Um, it is a... It's a typical love slash stranger story. Uh, we've seen very similar stories like this one in the past. Um, I, I feel like um, it's definitely going to give some cuteness to it. it. does remind me of some of the older anime that I watched back in the early 2000s, uh, which I can't remember the names of them but if you do remember them please let me know in the comments section below so before anything else if you haven't done so by now make sure you do subscribe to my channel give some love by comments liking and, sh and sharing you guys can also check out my description below for some links for playlists for uh, what to watch next uh for my social media and just so on and so forth so um i don't have pink eye i just I ended up having something in my eye and I kept rubbing and rubbing and now it got really red, but um, I don't have pink eye and I'm surely not drugged. I don't do drugs, um, but just, just FYI. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, this series only has one episode out time of recording. There'll be more episodes obviously out uh, as the time goes. So depending when you watch this, um, there might be two more episodes already out. Um, it is a cute series. And like I said, it does remind me of older series of kind of like Alien or Angel or whatever shows up on my doorstep. And now you're kind of in charge of them. And it's kind of a slice of life almost type of deal. And uh yeah, I mean, that's that's really what it reminds me of. Um, so we follow the life of Shintaro, and he essentially is um, overworked. He is uh, shut in almost in the sense of he goes to work and he goes home, and that's about it. Doesn't live with family. Uh, he's always is wanting more in life. Um he talks to cats wanting to have company and he always is thinking you know more company would be and very 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 nice for for him to have so um the the episode starts with actually the angel girl showing up uh but then once we meet our our protagonist shintaro he ends up in his apartment he knocks out and when he wakes up he finds this girl toa now again like any person you're not going to assume oh it's an angel right you're going to assume it's someone who entered your apartment or somehow ended up there um and he's freaking out why is there a girl here she wakes up she's not too confused she lets him know that she basically was wandering around and ended up sleeping in his balcony and uh you know she starts making comments of like how she's an angel and she's sent by god and um that doesn't know what her apartment is. She like thinks that this the whole apartment complex is his house. Like, no, I live in a apartment. This is all my home. She's like, wait, this storage room? <laughs> um so anyways, they have this conversation. And again, the boy, Shintero, doesn't really think that she's an angel. She thinks that she is an insane person. So she he basically says you're welcome for for the night that you stayed and for you know for everything i did for you but goodbye right he doesn't want to mess with it he doesn't want to uh deal with possibly a runaway and possibly someone who could harm him i mean let, let, let's be honest as pretty as someone can be um you're, you can still put your life in danger if you are allowing just anyone to stay in your home so those reactions are are natural now he is walking back 
back from work at the end of the day. This is the whole day pass. He bumps into her, and she's with this older guy. And he's like, oh, you found your father. I'm glad you did. And she's like, no, I don't know this guy. This guy's a stranger. And he's like, then what are you doing with him? And he, she goes, he promises me to take me to a hotel and uh, show me some stuff. And he obviously... Um, <laughs> He takes her. He's like, no, no, this is not going to happen. And he takes her to his house. Uh, it, it's hilarious. Um, halfway in the episode, again, she tells him that she's an angel. And then she finally reveals her wings to him. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because on the way back to his house, he knocks out. And he takes she takes him to the house. And he's like, well, how did you carry me all the way to my apartment? And she's like, well, I didn't carry you. I just... I just I just flew you here and that's when she shows him her her wings to him and obviously he it, it hits him like oh she wasn't lying she's actually an angel and um yeah from there the second half of the episode is almost like they already kind of accustom themselves to each other they notice that well, he noticed that there's stuff missing the house so they go and buy some essentials for her um he also thinks about like like now they have to cook because the money that he has as, as allowance is not gonna uh go well if they just buy meals uh for two every single day um so it, yeah i mean it, it it becomes like slice of life uh at the end of the episode he kind of like reminisces uh i think at one point he buys her clothes as well like how it was busy, it was tiring, but at the end of the day, he had fun, and he was happy, and, um, gosh, uh, if I can relate to a character, at least in that point of the episode, the rest, not really, but, um, I'm the same with my wife and kids, uh, I'm very much introverted, I don't show it too much here on camera, because obviously, I'm recording videos, but I'm very much introverted, I prefer being home and i think if i had no family um i would very much be a shut-in like him i would go to work do my job and then go home and do nothing <clears throat> but i feel like my wife pushes me to go out and do stuff and my girls push me also of them wanting to do stuff as well um and, and yeah honestly it's tiring it's it's um socially tiring it's um, uh, um, um what's what's called emotionally draining to me as an introvert but at the end of the day i did ha i do have fun i do enjoy it and i end up you know thanking them because if it wasn't for them i really wouldn't do it so yeah it is what it is uh pretty pretty good series uh it's a cute series don't think it's gonna be top 10 Just, throwing that out um it looks like me and um um rc's rules are gonna make another video for you guys um so i am trying to rank stuff properly this one definitely is not in my top 10 uh is it cute yeah would i watch it probably yes but uh, i'm more of an intermediate anime watcher um for those that pick and choose just a few animes this is probably not for you um but if you watch everything or most things then this one, you might enjoy it it's not something that you want to wait week by week for every episode but uh it's cute so six out of ten let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching this if you haven't done so by now subscribe to my channel thank you guys for your love and support and like always don't be strangers see you guys